So I'm curious, actually, what what how often do you actually project, and um, and how do you think it differs from lucid dreaming? Because I, I feel like they are definitely different, but I'm just curious about your opinions on it. Yeah, so this is an interesting one. I think with astral projection, it's certainly more difficult. Like I feel like it's way more difficult than lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming, I can do comfortably several times a month if I try and do it several times a week, depending on like how much I want to interrupt my sleep. Because if you do certain techniques, like wake back to bed, you interrupt your sleep and then you feel tired the next day but you get it's like more likely that you'll lose a dream with astral projection it's very for me at least it's very difficult and it's very rare i've only done it like a hand a small handful of times and then there's been a few more times which i'm not 100 percent sure it was astral projection because it was kind of in that in-between state but to be honest those few times were enough to make me massively interested in it like I became obsessed with learning about consciousness and reality and yeah I I guess my downfall is I love information so I I feel like I focus too much on learning and reading about stuff and not enough time on practicing it or at least not as much as I should but and so sorry the differences so the differences are with lucid dreaming but again the, the lines are quite blurred but with lucid dreaming it's theoretically all in your mind or at least mostly in your mind even that we're starting to realize now um, there's and there's different theories about this, but we're starting to think to see that the lines are kind of blurred, like things that happen in a dream can kind of influence and interact with real things outside the dream. And there's all kinds of stories about shared dreaming and uh, premonitions, precognitive dreams, past life regression through lucid, lucid states and all this kind of stuff. So I, I'm amazed at like, how little we know. And maybe you've um, kind of felt the same thing. It's like the more you research something, the more you realize how much we don't know and like how incredible it all is. And there's just so many different rabbit holes you can do- go down. 100%. I mean, the difference between lucid dreaming and astral projection is so crazy. I mean, in, in my experience, I've lucid dreams like quite a few times, but like you say, astral projection, I've literally had one experience of it. And it was like, yeah. just almost the part of leaving my body out. I wasn't even able to fully like travel around, travel around so to speak. It, it was just the, you know, almost like I was being lifted out of my body and flying through my ceiling. But that in and of itself felt so different to lucid dreaming. It was almost like a completely different experience. Because a lot of people are like, oh, maybe actual projection just you having a lucid dream and you imagining actual projecting it in the lucid dreaming. But I say to them, like, this experience of actual projection is so almost a different feeling. Like the vibration of you actually mm. ascending from your bodies almost so real more than real in a way isn't it and it's mind-boggling coming back to reality and being like what the hell was that how do i explain that in normal terms yeah no absolutely the the crazy thing is because i've heard i've heard many people talk about like oh it's just lucid dreaming or it's like it's just you're just sleeping or dreaming it thing is my main astral projection experience so like the one i remember the most clearly was when i was wide awake like i was literally in my bunk bed fully awake and i was quite young i was maybe like 10, 12, something like that, fully awake. And then I look down at the floor and the next thing I know, I'm literally like flying across the top of a forest. You know, like, have you ever seen wingsuit diving videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they kind of like soar down, uh, they kind of like glide down a mountain mountain range. So it was yeah. literally like that. And I was freaking out because I, I didn't know whether I was hallucinating or whether I was like asleep, but I was wide awake holding the bed, literally like this. And when I came out of the vision, I ran downstairs and I was like, what the hell just happened? I was like really confused. So for, at, least for, at least for that one, like there's no doubt that was astral projection because I was awake, you know, like I wasn't even dreaming or sleeping. 100%. I mean, dreams honestly just make you completely question reality. I mean, one of the biggest things that I took from dreams was when you're in a dream, your mind separates yourself from the external environment within the dream, so you feel separate from it. But it's not until you wake up that you're like, oh wait, I was everyone in that dream and they were my projections and beliefs. And I feel like that's mm. you know, linked to how when we die, we're gonna come back and be like, oh, in this reality, everyone else was our projections and dreams. Like it's all, almost, not in a um, solipsistic type of way, but everyone has their own individualistic reality that we can control and manipulate and dreams wake you up to that. And I feel like psychedelics do as well. Like the, the mini ego death, like it, it puts you in a state of, of dying and reveals that spiritual awakening to you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so an interesting thing with that is if you heard about the, the egg theory where the whole universe is an egg and we, uh, we are basically the same life force interacting with each other. Definitely. There's a, there's a great, is it Kierkegaard? 
her, they have a YouTube channel on that, um, and it's an amazing video on that. Um, I think I've got I've posted a video on my TikTok actually about that. But yeah, I love that theory um, about how we are everyone, including you know Jesus and Hitler. We're, we're both mm. sides of it. We, we, you know, we are both the God and the devil in one. Like. Yeah, but then you get into the questions of determinism and karma and free will, and these are like, I feel like these are insanely complicated topics. 100%. You know? And, and there so really is no definitive answer, is there? Which is why I think it's so interesting to discuss. Yeah. Like, no one knows the actual absolute truth to it all. It's just open for discussion. <laughs> yeah, I love it.